Hello folks. That beautiful little fellow there is a grey butcher bird. His Latin name is something like Gracchus. No. His last name is Torquatus, I know that. Gracchus Torquatus, something like that. Someone out there will probably know more than I do about this. Beautiful little guy. He's a, basically like a small magpie. Or if you like, a magpie is probably the largest version of the butcher bird. There is another butcher bird. Um, the pied butcher bird is a little bit bigger with a little bit bigger beak. And he's really distinctively black and white. Um, these guys get their name. Uh, you can probably see that little hook on the end of his beak. There's a male and a female here that, um, that I feed. They're very bold. They're quick flyers. They're very wary too. But once you gain their confidence, uh, this guy does take food out of my hand. They've got very small feet. Whereas that bloke you can hear chatting away up there. <laughs> He's a magpie. But they have similar songs. The, the butcher bird up here has got a beautiful caroling, caroling song amongst his repertoire. He's got really small feet. The magpie have long legs and long feet, uh, long claws, which means that they can hold food down and they can, you know, manipulate food with their feet. <laughs> there you go. Um, but these guys' feet are too small to hold food and carry food. So what they'll do uh, is what Sam does. I thought Sam was a good name for a butcher. I think I got it from, from Sam the Butcher in the Brady Bunch. <laughs> so forgive me for that. So what they'll do is they'll grab little lizards and, you know, whatever they grab, the food, their prey, and they will, sometimes they'll hang it on thorns Sometimes I'll just wedge it into a fork in a tree and then they'll use that, that very strong beak with that little hook on it to tear the food apart into bits that they can swallow easily. Um, they have lots of little caches of food so they'll have lots of hiding places. And uh, yeah, that's what they'll do. So like a butcher they will hang their food on, on hooks. Very clever. Um, the female does most of the, the nesting, I think. They will build a nest together, which is just basically a normal kind of magpie-ish nest of twigs, lined with a bit of this and that. I can't really tell you that much about them, but um, I love these guys. I have a pair here, um, and I've been feeding them, which means that they've been, you know, I've gained their confidence. The female won't take it out of my hand. She's a lot more um, wary than, than Sam here. But all I have to do is take a couple of paces back and she'll take the food that I leave for her. Which is um, you know, just a mixture of mints that I mix a um, insectivore mix with. So they get all the little nutrients and things they need. Beautiful song. Very fast flies, real stabbing wing beats. I don't know where these guys are nesting, but um, they're a clever and curious and intelligent bird. The grey butcher bird, like I said, uh, I know the last part of his name is Torquatus. Gracchus Torquatus, something like that. I didn't expect to see him, so I didn't um, look it up previously, which would have made me sound a little bit more learned. <laughs> I'm only an amateur, but a passionate one at that. Is there a little brown sort of markings just where his beak meets his face there? The band of white on the back of his neck, and a real mottled kind of patchy grey breast. A little bit of white there on the end of his tail. They're a very, 
very cool little bird. Like I said, a, a small version of the magpie. And the magpie, as I said, or as you can hear. Oh, now you hear that? That's a communication noise that he makes with, yep, sure enough, his partner. That little chuckling, squeaking noise. Just that communication noise. And uh, especially when there's food around, they'll, they'll make that sound. It's quite different to his normal, the rest of his song. Anyway, that's the grey butcher bird. Such a beautiful little guy. Oh, hello, look. There it is. That could be Sam, actually. They're very hard to distinguish. But I'm saying that's probably Sam because he's come and landed right next to me. So he's a little bit bolder than she is. You can see the short legs there that I was talking of. And just flowing off into the tree there. Now, just up there, that's one of these little places where he hangs food. He's waiting for me to give him something. It's nearly sunset, so they always come around for a little bit of a top up before going to bed. <laughs> so, Mr. and or Mrs. Grey Butcher Bird. Oh, thank you, Cockatoo. Beautiful. Aussie Birds Rock. See ya.